amazing. Uh, as two months ago, I would never have imagined it possible in my life to get an honorary degree from the University of Sussex. Then the letter from the vice chancellor came, and it's just amazing. It's like a hand with a magic wand has just come out of the sky and tapped you with this magic wand. It's like, wow. It was to touch down in England on that first day. I still remember it very vividly. And the entire plane, which was filled with University of California students coming to various universities in the UK, um, just sort of just went, yay, as the plane hit in Gatwick Airport, uh, landed on the blacktop. There's a lot of shift in people's thinking about addiction, and there's a lot of debate in people's thinking about addiction, and a long way to go still. Um, you know, a big question that comes up today is, should addiction be thought of as a kind of disease, as a brain disease, or should it not be? Um, should it be thought of as instead of a choice like any other choice? Um, there are legitimate arguments on both sides of the debate. Um, my own feeling is that if our explanation is right, and there is strong evidence for it, then Addiction is a choice, but it's a choice that's pushed into an extreme range that the rest of us simply aren't in. And so um, it's a kind of temptation that the rest of us don't face. And it deserves it to be called the disease in that sense of being extreme, beyond the normal range, and having deleterious consequences to a person. There are other diseases, actual diseases, that are like that too, in those features. Um, so. There's a lot, a lot of debate and, and issues to think about in addiction. Um, but in terms of helping people with addiction, that's really what one needs, and there's a long way to go with that. I think if we read the autobiographies of people who have succeeded in fields like this, in neuroscience and science, um, it almost always sounds that they were facing the wind and you know, re receiving rejection after rejection. Um, even though from the outside it looks like they were success after success after success. So I'd say it doesn't, it's all right if it feels like a series of rejections. You know, perseverance, uh, it does matter and it, it can pay off and that sometimes there's a silver lining to a, a disappointment. Um, so it's important to look for that.